questions? Uh, Darius, Don Struble, Black and Gold Band, right? You kind of picked up where you left off last season. You were hot from the perimeter today. Just uh, when in, what went into your mindset with being aggressive on offense? Uh, honestly, my teammates just did a great job, you know, finding me for open shots. You know, we have a lot of guys who can score, you know, a lot of guys who can also penetrate the defense and uh, be able to kick and make plays for others. And that's what we did tonight. Darius, I mean, it's an exhibition charity match, and it's a good game so far, and then Jalen Sellers goes down. I mean, how does that affect you as a teammate this season in that kind of situation? Um, you know, it's definitely disturbing, you know, for us as a team, you know, but he's a brother and our brother went down, so we had to pick it up for him. Um, you know, prayers up to Jalen. We hope, you know he's going to pull through. He's strong. He's tough. So, you know, he's next man up. You know, that's what we pray for next man up. Would you guys say you rallied for him? Yes, for sure. Deshaun, Deshaun you had the big second half in this game. What, what do you feel like changed between the first half and second half for you and, and for the team as you guys got more comfortable out there? Um, I just had to adjust and not go fast with the ball and just uh, play off my teammates. I think uh, first half I was just trying to kind of hype and try, probably trying to force. So I just had to play off my teammates and get going and just let them find me and not force the ball. Uh, for both of you guys, uh, Coach Dawkins expressed the need to build continuity and chemistry during media day. How do you feel like you guys reflected that process during today's preseason test? I feel like we did a pretty good job. You know, we're still building and still uh, creating continuity and chemistry together throughout our practices. But, you know, now we get a chance to go back and watch film and be able to learn from our mistakes and our turnovers and that. You guys went to the half down, but what did you learn um, and take out at that half to, to come back and eventually go on that late run in the second half? Uh, you know, honestly, we probably had some little pregame jitters, you know. <laughs> so after the first half, everyone got their feet wet. So we just came out and we, you know, we had to stop them from making threes. I mean, a lot of threes in the first half. So. We knew we had to limit the threes in the second half, and our brother went down. So I feel like that gave us another energy booster throughout the game. Uh, defense, defensively, what what seemed to ratchet up in, in the sec second half? I know you said you got us, you keep them from hit, from hitting threes, but you guys seem to be really be getting after them. You know, giving up only four free throw attempts with the defense that you guys played in the in the second half. What what kind of click? What kind of clicked on that end? Um, we just said in the second half, let's trust our teammates more. That's going to be there and just be there for us and. Uh, they're going to be there on the help side and just play up and don't let them hit no threes and we can stop them. So that's what we did in the second half. How, how important is a game like game like this to be able to build that trust? You know, you guys have been practicing playing against against each other, playing against your, your, your teammates to go up against another team and, and kind of feel feel that a little bit. How important are, is this game to, to getting ready for the regular season and getting on the same page? Um, this game is super important. Uh, you know, we get a chance to go back and look at film and see how we're scouted and stuff like that. You know, we've been playing against each other for about a, all, really all summer, but you know, now we get to we get a chance to see how all of our progress and stuff works out against another team. So you know, we're gonna go back and watch film. There's a lot of areas where we can grow and get better. You guys are characterized by a defensive identity, and that kind of manifested in the first half with the Neal's chase down block and then Benny with the help. Uh, how important is it to stay with that intensity? Um, down low and just all over the floor in general? Um, like Coach said, just second effort plays, not giving up on plays. We might make a mistake, but just go on to the next play and just keep playing hard. Like Coach Dawkins said, he's known for his defense, so we just got to bring the heart and play like to his standard. Seems like during media day, the backcourt received almost all the attention regarding all the players and scoring ability, but the front court showed up extra tonight. Paul, uh, Mustafa Dion. Talk about those guys, up, um, the big guys getting active early. I feel like the big guys did a great job. You know, Keyshawn down there, you know, he's tough to deal with. He's strong, he's physical, he can finish around the rim. Um, and Mustafa as well. Mustafa's very skilled. Um, he's catching a lot of tough passes that were thrown at him, and he's growing each and every day. Um, you know, he still has a lot of room to grow, and so is his team. Uh, Keyshawn, 7 of 12 overall, 9 of 10 from the line. You had a double-double today. Uh, you showed a lot of offensive savvy down low. Uh, just what kind of goes into your mindset with being physical down in the paint and in the low post? Um, I just know like when my shot's not going and things like that, you just have to play aggressive and let the ball come to you and not try to force it and things like that. So I just like where I come from, I just try to play hard and aggressive and let everything figure itself out and just play through contact. What did you guys think about Mikey Williams' play? It's a big acquisition during the offseason. Fans cheering him on as soon as he gets into the game. What did you guys think? How can he grow? Oh, you know, we're super excited for him. You know, it's his first college game, well, first college exhibition game. So, you know, he has a lot of room to grow. You know, as an older vet, you know, a senior guard, you know, I just try to help him each and every day. Um, just try to show him uh, what to do and what not to do. But, you know, he didn't, I don't think he played that the way he expected to play. But, you know, it's, it happens. It happens to the best of us. So, you know, I feel like he'll bounce back in the next year if you have. Did you guys play as disciplined as you wanted to? 
No, no, not even close. Yeah, not even close man. We had our standard. Our standard was hell. Try to hold teams under fifty points, and we didn't do that. So yeah, we got man. a lot to look back on and watch some film. Man. We made twelve threes. Our yeah. coach is not happy. About yeah, that. that's our thing in practice. And so well, we know we're gonna have a long film session. Kind of touching on that. Um, obviously, FGCU shot a high volume from the perimeter and hit the twelve, like you said. Uh, how important is it to have that consistent on-ball defense and timely help on the perimeter going forward to limit those opportunities for other teams? Um, it's definitely it's something that's big. But you know, we have a lot of guys who can play multiple position, multiple positions defensively. You know, you have you seen a lot of times that we had Benny out there at the five. Um, and we switched everything. So you know, just giving teams different looks because you know we have a lot of guys who can guard multiple positions. Time for a few more. It's a charity match, and circling back to um, Jalen Sellers, it's a charity match, and you guys are playing for a good cause. And to see him go down, knowing that he could possibly make six cents, where do you guys go from here? Is it next man up? It's definitely a next man up mentality. You know, we're going to keep him in our prayers and, and pray for the best. And we know he's going to do his part if he has to do any rehab or therapy. We know he's going to bust his butt in that aspect. He's a dog, so he's going to get back for sure. All set? All right, thanks, y'all. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys.